Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Apocalypse. It is the mid-morning of day 50. I've got my inventory completely loaded up, including the batteries and the battery bank. I destroyed the land claim block that was in our home base. The Jeep's inventory is completely maxed out, so let's just get a move on. It's moving day. We're going to find a new place to live. Now, there is a bunch of inventory still left in the boxes at Butcher Pete's, but that's fine. We'll be back for all of that stuff. I'm thinking we can get this done in two trips. We are moving to the city uh, to the northeast of us in the snow biome. I figure that'll be a fun, different place to live. We'll have to deal with lumberjacks and mountain lions. Should be a little bit more difficult up there, so I'm looking forward to that. We'll have the trader uh, to the east. We'll be just south of where we're living. So uh, we'll have that trader, and I'm thinking we can find another trader up there somewhere. Right? We've only found two traders in this world, and there should be, what, six or eight of them, I think? Either way, hopefully we can find another one up there. It's a big city, probably the biggest one I've found so far. I'm not sure where we're going to live yet. Let's just get up there, and we'll pick a place. Now, this city actually starts in the green grasslands right here. Some farm buildings and homes and shit. But we're not living here. Well, we can raid all of these houses and stuff like that, but I want to live in the actual snow. Um, not sure if I want, like, a house like either of those. You know, I want something simple for our home. That's why I picked that shed initially. You know, something real small that we can clear out, put down all of our shit, and then, you know, slowly upgrade, and maybe use it for a horde base one day. We've got a parking garage. We could use that as the horde base, because that's what we also need to find here. Not only a place to live, but a place to make a base. Um... There's a fire station over there. There's a poppin' pills. There's this big giant hotel. Um, this place needs way too much work. Oh wait, look at this. Is this a church made of concrete? I mean, it's bricks. The foundation is concrete. There's some wood blocks right there, but those can be upgraded. Uh, what is the bricks? Is it cobblestone or is it concrete? I wonder what that upgrades to. Uh, either way, no big deal right now. Let me uh, grab a tool here so we can break into this place. And this is it. This is where we're going to live. This church right here is super simple. It's just one big room, and that is exactly what I'm looking for. We got some radiated zombies in here. Oh, hey, Mo. Let's get this bad boy down here. And we got another one coming. Ooh, two more. Three more. We got Big Mama in there, too. Damn, four radiated zombies in this church. That's fine. Oh, Junkie's shooting at something else in there. The Lumberjack wants to join the party. Ooh. Oh, shit. I grazed him, and now he's pissed off. Oh, you sneaky bastard. I swear, lumberjacks are everywhere in the snow biome. I said it before, they're like the car salesmen of the snow biome. Once you come into the vicinity, they just swarm you, and they're everywhere. Let's go get Junkie. We'll actually turn Junkie around right here. Back ourselves into the church. Oh, shit. Fucking mountain lion, dude. Our first encounter. Sorry, buddy. I had to shoot your head off. Here come the lumberjacks. Dude, it's a good thing I came running for the inside of this place. I had no idea that thing was stalking us. That could have been bad. All right, that's one dumb thing about playing on Insane is that at this point in the game, it takes forever to fucking kill anything with a bow. But we can also pick up our arrows and I didn't feel like wasting any more ammo on uh, a few lumberjacks. I might leave the pews in here. I kind of like them. They're, they're a distraction. If zombies come in here, you can kind of weave in and out between them. And uh, they get caught up and stuck on them. I don't know. I have to think about it. For now, though, I want to open this up and clear out this area. We need to put down some storage chests and uh, unload. And then we're going to make one more trip back to uh, Butcher Pete's and pick up the rest of our shit.
Damn, another lumberjack. I told you, they just keep showing up. Could be the fact that I keep firing this weapon, though. I'm gonna use my spear for this guy. And then we'll grab the jeep and make one more trip out to Butcher Pete's, get the rest of our inventory, and then we'll just see what time it is at that point. Let's go ahead and put a marker on the map for this place. I deleted the other one off of the map because uh, that's not our home anymore. This is our home, so we'll use that icon. Just name it home. There we go. All right. Let's roll out. Oh shit, I forgot to unload the Jeep's inventory. Imagine if I drove all the way back to Butcher Pete's and the, the truck was full, I would have been pissed off. Alright, let's unload this shit and then we'll head back to Pete's. Alright, I guess I'll take the bicycle, why not? Be good to have a vehicle that doesn't require gas. I'll take the cowboy hat. And that's it, fuck it, we're good. Let's get back home. Alright, let's get all this shit knocked out and we'll put down our equipment right here. Our forges, the workbench, the mixer, the chem station. Uh, did I search this thing already? Yeah. And then, uh, we'll get some trees planted, we'll knock out the back steps, we'll put in some doors in this place. And that's probably gonna be it. I don't think we'll get to any looting today. But what I will do is take the motorcycle around town so we can try and get an idea of where we might want to make a base. And we can also take a look around and see where we might want to loot in the next episode. Thought I heard something out here. That was a lumberjack over there walking away. Alright, I know we got Junkie back here, but let's just go ahead and knock these stairs out now. This way, uh, nothing can come sneaking up on us. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do back here. Probably just put a couple of ladders against the wall that I can jump up to and grab, but for now, anyway, all this shit's gotta go. We'll figure the rest out later. Uh, I'm out of iron. I might have some in storage, but not much. I'm going to take these cars apart because there's no sense in leaving something that might explode out in front of our home. But I'm going to take a hard look at our inventory tonight, get all of that organized, check out our resources and see what we need. I'm sure we're going to need more of everything. More iron, stone, cobblestone, concrete. So maybe I will start digging another mine shaft underneath the church. We'll go straight down and then just start digging tunnels in different directions. And we'll at least get a shit ton of stone doing that, and hopefully we'll hit some other ore as well. Alright, let's take the motorcycle around town and see what our options are for a base. Oh look, right next door we've got the giant Hotel of Death. Clearing that thing out is going to be a challenge, but if we did that, we could hold up on the rooftop during a horde night. Probably be safe up there. Oh, look, the sun's coming out. That's nice. We've got another giant hotel right here where we could, you know, just hold out up on the roof, knock out any stairs leading up there. And uh, I'm pretty sure that hotel would sustain a horde night, but it would get pretty boring, wouldn't it? Unless we opened up more of the rooftop so we can shoot down on them. I mean, that's an option. we got a poppin' pills right here. That place is made of concrete. Wouldn't be that hard to fortify. We've got a bunch of houses, but they're all made of wood. 
And uh, that would take way too long to get up to speed. We got this giant theater right here. And uh, across the street from a parking garage. We could do something there. I wonder if there's any loot up on the rooftop of this theater. There's a ladder. Probably not, but let's go up and check. Why not, right? But yeah, this is another option. It's a big-ass building. I don't think uh, the zombies would take this building down. And if they could, I'd be sure as hell interested to see them do it. How, uh, whoop. Got a zombie right here. And he's a runner. Let's just use the gun. Die. You die. How do you even get up here? Like, if you went in from the building, is there access to the roof from inside? It doesn't look like it. I mean, we could just if we just knocked the ladder out and stayed up here, I'd be curious to see if this building can withstand the horde. But again, it would make for a pretty boring horde night, wouldn't it? We woke up some zombies inside. Let's see. Is he a runner? He is. I can see his eyes glowing. All right. Come on, then, buddy. Break through. And you're dead. Oh, we got more coming out. Are you dead? You're dead. Oh, shit. Farmer Bill coming in hot. Oh, gotta reload. Let's get out the door. Close this thing. Alright. Oh, got another farmer right here and one of those hooded zombies. I don't think they came from inside, though. Oh, he's pissed. Slow down, dude. Better take care of them before... The zombies inside break out. There's at least one runner in there. This farmer's dead. Alright, they're out. Looks like just the farmer's a runner. And he's dead now. And take care of the rest of these guys. Oh, shit. Oh, he's pissed off. We must have grazed him when we were shooting at the farmer. He's dead. Let's get back in here. We got some time to kill. Can do a little bit of looting. And kind of get a better feel for the layout of this building also. I haven't been in here in quite a while. Probably since Alpha 16. I'm sure a bunch has changed. I don't see any more zombies in here. Like I said, we'll just do a little bit of looting. Just grab whatever we can. Whatever's kind of sticking out. You know what I mean? What do we got back here? Bathrooms? Those doors are locked. Got a vending machine back here. Well, in terms of the base, I don't know yet. We have quite a lot of options, especially if we were willing to just climb upon a rooftop and wait out the horde. You know what I mean? But that's no fun. You guys know me. You know that's not going to happen. The only way I will get up on a rooftop and kind of let the horde play out is if there's some way for us to shoot at them. You know what I mean? And that might be possible on, uh, on top of that big hotel. Not the Hotel of Death, the one that's set up like a uh, dungeon style, because that thing is going to be quite challenging to clear out. We got a safe right here. I think we got time to crack into it. And that leads back out to the main room with the stage. Let's close this door and break into this safe. But yeah, if I was okay with getting on top of a roof and waiting out the horde, there's that other hotel that's not set up like a dungeon. And I think there's a sunroof on top of that hotel that kind of looks down into a couple of different rooms. If I remember correctly, I don't know. We'd have to get up on top of there. But it shouldn't be that hard to get up to the rooftop of that building. And if we can clear a path for the zombies up to the, the top floor... What the fuck? Oh, this is in my way. Oops. Get out of the way. Uh, if we can clear a path for the zombies up to, like, the top floor of that hotel, and then we can put some bars in on the roof and just stay up on the rooftop and shoot down at them and maybe throw some uh, Molotovs or grenades down on them or whatever, then I'd be totally down for that. But what I don't want to do is just hide on top of a rooftop where I can't see what's going on and just wait out the horde night there. That's no fun. Um... What else, though? The poppin' pills, like I was saying earlier, that place is already made out of concrete, so it wouldn't be that hard to get that place uh, nice and fortified. You know, at least up to reinforced concrete, maybe even steel. So, a lot to think about tonight, and we have some options. 
So, uh, you know, my main focus tonight is going to be getting the inventory organized, putting down some better storage chests like the boxes, you know, with signs, getting all my shit organized the way it was back at our old home. And if I have time left over, I'd like to start digging the mine underneath the church. I also want to put down a land claim block. I'm pretty sure I have stone in inventory, but let me grab some here just in case. And then that's pretty much it. And then in episode 51, we'll probably uh, do some looting around town and try to nail down what we want to use as a base. Alright, I got some storage boxes crafting. We're going to replace the storage chests with those. I've got a land claim block crafting. This can go right here. Probably going to remove all the pews. I know I said I was going to leave them there, but... Nah, probably clear this place out. Probably get rid of all of these shades and uh, break the windows open, replace them with blocks. Just so the building is nice and sealed up. Got a zombie out here. Ah, fuck it. We'll just use the gun. See ya. Close that door real quick. Let me reload. And then, uh, I think we have some iron on us that we can upgrade this door with. Gotta knock these steps out. They're concrete, though, so... I'll do it tomorrow with the auger. Where is my nail gun? Uh, here it is. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. It's probably gonna be shorter than usual. We did a lot of driving today and a lot of work, but it was all necessary. I think we've set ourselves up pretty nicely for the week to come, so I'm excited to see how it's all gonna play out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Apocalypse, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.